When quartz crystals come out of the ground, they have very specific shapes and geometries. This is called a quartz crystal point. It's a single crystal, 100% natural. This is exactly the way it came out of the ground, except we did take the dirt off of it. And if you notice, it has very specific geometries to it. The angles in quartz crystals are always the same, and this angle at the tip here is the same as the angle of the Great Pyramid of Egypt. In fact, the Great Pyramid was based on the geometry of quartz crystals. Now that's interesting because quartz crystals have their own powers, which is why they're used in electronics, and also why we use them as touchstones to help settle and balance the energy in our bodies. But more about that later. Quartz crystals can grow in groupings. And here's a fairly large one that came out of Arkansas. These are individual crystals growing out of a plate. The bottom of it is all fused quartz crystal, and it's kind of milky or white. As the crystals grow larger, they often get clearer at the point until they get too big and then they start to get white again. That's a particularly nice shape there that came out of Hot Springs, Arkansas. And in Arkansas, at the other end of Lake Washita, they get these beautiful sparkly little clear crystals from a location called Collier Creek. This one also has crystals on the bottom and a little bit of sandstone. The more sandstone you have on the piece, the less valuable it becomes because more and more of the weight is just the sparkly sandstone rather than the crystals. I personally would rather have a nice clear thin plate of crystal like this rather than something that weighed 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds. Much harder to move around and harder on the furniture. So this grouping is called a cluster, a cluster of quartz crystals, and they've been mining quartz crystals in the hot springs area for thousands and thousands of years. Quartz crystals that come from Brazil, as well as other parts of the world, can occur in any size from just a few millimeters long to finger size. This would be called hand holder size. It's comfortable to hold. And then larger into what we call small generators. And that's because they generate an energy field that can balance out your home. As they get even bigger, you can get some truly impressive specimens. Here's one from Brazil that's been cut and polished, but they've retained all the original angles and opened up these windows on the side so you can see the beauty inside. It's nice having the crystals polished on the bottom. That way you can stand them up, and even though we're in earthquake territory here, the crystals seem very stable. This is a truly massive individual crystal that came from Brazil. It used to be even longer before they trimmed the base to get it to stand up. It's a little bit on the milky side, but has some clarity at the bottom with rainbows. And the original crystal was probably a little bit larger as well. Very unusual to see something this big. A large crystal like this is going to sell for several thousand dollars. Some of the crystals that come out of Brazil are fairly small but they form into unusual shapes and formations. So here is a druzy quartz crystal with stalactites that came out of a large geode. And this particular formation was probably plucked from the rock wall just like a large stone flower. Large quartz crystals are found in several places on the planet. We find them in Arkansas, Brazil, Madagascar, Russia, and occasionally in different countries in Africa. These pieces are unusual for their size and their beauty and extremely difficult to mine, clean, and move. However, this one, which is coming from Brazil, has gone through this arduous process of being birthed out of the ground and then cleaned up over a year's time, repaired, and then shipped and installed here. Occasionally, individual crystals get even larger than this, 
what you're looking at right now is almost two tons of quartz and occasionally quartz crystals themselves, single pieces, will run up into the 10 to 20 ton range. I've seen one crystal that weighed 17,000 pounds. That one came from Africa. And I've seen pictures of a Brazilian crystal that weighed 84,000 pounds. It was almost 25 feet long. These astonishing giants are miracles in their own right.